I visualize uh, a cohesive group of people who are building on the good results that we achieved in the previous study period, one that collaborates with the BDT, one where there's synergy between the activities that the BDT is doing in the field and the experiences that um, our members are having, that they can validate and, and challenge one another so that what we come out with at the end is, is, a, is a really rich, accurate um, view of where we are and where we're going, what works and what, has, what hasn't, um, and that there's a story that can be shared perhaps with the rest of the world about how to go about improving broadband deployment, improving ICTs, and getting affordable services to people around the world. We have nine topics in study group one, and I, I don't think that there's anything that's not really, you know, very, very important. Of course, uh, broadband is a very big topic. We have cloud computing, uh, all of the applications. People are always interested in how to price things you know, with convergence, how, what's happening with, with the economics of it all. Um, accessibility is extremely important. Um, spectrum issues are extremely important. And, and they're all, there's a synergy with all of them. So I, I just believe there's a really high interest in everything. I can't just say, oh, well, you know, this and, and not that. But I, as I said, I, I really feel like I, that we're all going to work together and all of those questions have a piece in that story that answers some questions about um, how things are done and what's working. And hopefully it will inspire other people in their countries, maybe not exactly this particular way, but something that we release and put out and discover can inspire someone else. And that's what, that's what we hope, that it's that spark that, that ignites uh, interest and, um, and activity, fruitful activity. Well, the main challenges are going to be, um, I believe, actualizing that collaboration, a closer collaboration with the questions themselves and with um, the regional um, activities that are going on out in the field. I don't think we've done that in the past, and so um, we'll have to manage that process in a way that allows people to um, not step on one another's toes, but to sort of get the best out of, out of uh, each other's work and put the best of the best together and have an even better product than we, either one of us would have without each other. So um, we, we haven't really tried that systematically, and so I think managing that process uh, will be a challenge, but it's it, but the outcome is worth is worth that challenge, um, and and my role will be to help shepherd that process, and to um, look for ways to um, help people help bring people together, and give them what they need. Watch out for where where things may be stumbling, and and give people that assistance. You know, finding. Um, those plugging up those holes, if you will, so that the rapporteurs of all the questions can really shine, and um, and uh, people are happy when they're doing productive work. The unique um, makeup of the membership, and there's a lot of of um, communication and interaction between the membership and the and the staff here at the ITU. I don't know if it's like that in other UN organizations. And so I would say that for me, the principal contribution has been in decreasing the, the digital divide and in, and in helping, to, helping members and others to, to narrow that divide and expand um, this amazing sector, you know, communications. I, I think that its main contribution has been to help connect people to each other so that we can 
learn from one another and so that we can um, collaborate for our mutual benefit.